Downtown DC's future is up in the air as the Caps and Wizards ponder new life in Northern Virginia. And tonight, a new report lays out some ideas for the future. And Fox 5, Sierra Fox joins us live from Northwest, right outside Capital One Arena. Sierra, what's at stake? Well, Jim and Angie, what's at stake is thousands of jobs and millions of dollars. Now, right now, downtown is hustling and bustling. I'm sure you can hear the music from the cars because Madonna has a concert here at Capital One Arena. But we know that this area has been struggling ever since the COVID-19 pandemic. And if the Caps and Wizards move, that won't help with revitalization efforts. In 1997, Capital One Arena opened, bringing growth and vibrancy to downtown D.C. However, a new study by the D.C. Policy Center reveals if the Caps and Wizards end up playing across the river, the Chinatown neighborhood will no longer be a prime destination and surrounding businesses could shut down. I hate the move. I really don't like it. Um, I think a lot of the restaurants in the area um, that I go to frequently uh, might struggle in the future. We're going to see less demand on restaurants. Um, we've seen uh, since 2000 about 136 restaurants open in that vicinity. And today we have only 96 left. Executive Director Yeshman Sayan says less foot traffic could mean a rise in crime in an area where violence is already a concern. The drugs, the carjackings, all that would just go through the roof. I can remember like 15 years ago, this was a main attraction. All my friends would come down here and we'd watch movies, but now nobody comes down here. Most people go to Silver Spring, Maryland. With the FBI headquarters moving to Prince George's County, Maryland, Cyan believes the city would need to collaborate with the federal government to redevelop the Hoover Building. It is an entire city block. It's five acres. And today it's a low-rise office building that's designed to repel people, not attract people. If D.C.'s NHL and NBA teams ultimately move to Alexandria, Virginia, the report explains this would create a lot of tough decisions, but also opportunities to reimagine downtown D.C. What would you want to see downtown D.C. turn into? Uh, I have no idea. I think they have almost everything, everything but a mall, but there'll be no point in that. Um, I, know, I can think of maybe a club, but I don't really go to the club. <laughs> I don't know. While many people still have a lot of questions, others are just hopeful Capital One Arena doesn't go anywhere. I think that it's a negotiation tactic because D.C. didn't give them what they wanted. So hopefully, you know, they can stay. We do know that Mayor Muriel Bowser is fighting to try to keep the sports teams here. Now, I do want to reiterate, this is all a potential plan. Nothing is official yet, but of course, Fox 5 will stay ahead of any developments. But this is expected to take a few years. Jim and Angie.